Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Joined by my favorite dietitian. You're the only one I know. Aaron. Yeah. Aaron, first off, this looks amazing. Yes. It's the holiday season, officially. It is. And uh, we're trying to find a way to include everybody in there. Because when you come together, you got your classic dishes and all your fun stuff. But we're finding that more people have stomach issues. They right. have diabetes. They have heart disease. They have all these things that kind of throw a wrench into some of the good things you want to have during the holiday season. So I love throwing these ideas. I said, you got to give us something for, for the Thanksgiving, something for the holiday season as we get together. And uh, it is called Hostess with the Mostess Friendsgiving Edition. Yes. So if you're looking at just starting anywhere with just trying to hit everybody with different restrictions, where do you even start? You know, that's a really great question. I mean, the first thing to remember during Friendsgiving, Thanksgiving, whoever is going to be at Forever your giving, yeah, right? <laughs> right? Um, you, you just want to be inclusive. So that could be that your friends are bringing dishes that they know that they can eat, um, but you also might want to be a little bit more educated on how to support them and their needs as best too. So we're going to take this dish by dish or yes. a, a different uh, Category. categories. Yeah. Uh, so we'll start with the appetizer, one of my favorites. Absolutely. And appetizers, I think that's where you can have a lot of fun. Although you're going to prove that uh, theory wrong today because we're going to have fun in all categories. Exactly. But, but appetizers are just awesome. They're, they're the best thing because you walk in the door wherever you're going and they're typically already ready for you, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is my favorite Mine time too. to graze. <laughs> so um, in your appetizer, of course, um, have variety. So you can have all of your different food groups, and this is a great place to focus on your fiber too. Um, so right in front of us, we have one appetizer that you can really wow your guests with, and this is a baguette from the bakery toasted so we have some little toasted crostinis it smells like a bakery in here just so you know oh, it you smell so vision at home. It's, it's amazing <laughs> with avocado to give you the healthy fat and fiber pomegranates to give you some great vitamin c um, to support that immune system this this winter and um, some feta cheese on top but there's a twist there's a twist i actually use a vegan feta cheese um, so this is actually a dairy-free friendly dish for you and your guests and you say it tastes pretty darn good. Like, you can't tell the difference? Right. You can't tell the difference. Yeah, you're going to have to. I'm actually pretty impressed. I am, too. I watched her try some of it, and she's like, oh, yeah, that's pretty good. I was yeah. like, OK. So something to try. So it's great for everyone. Your guests won't even know it's vegan. Which is really good. I like it. Uh, all right, moving to the side dish. I love coming up with a creative side dish uh, each and every year. So where do you? What is your side dish of choice? <laughs> First off, let's. Everybody wants to know. Well, you know, I am a dietitian, so my go-to is a vegetable. <laughs> of course, it is. I personally love taking Brussels sprouts wherever I'm going, or make them while I'm there, um, and mm. adding great flavor and something new to it, whether it's prosciutto or some. A honey maple glaze on it or maybe a little bourbon added in the mix just a splash for flavor wow well that sounds yeah. pretty good for for outside of that and in the dietitian world of things although that is sounds pretty healthy <laughs> uh, what do you have for a side dish here well like i said i always go for a vegetable this is a great way to add in that fiber for your guests so especially those with diabetes if you're setting up let's say like a buffet style um, you want to have those vegetables in the front, whether it's a veggie tray, like an appetizer, or just your veggies, your hot veggies ready to go. Um, then your guests can load up on veggies first. And, you know, because when we get to the end of the line, sometimes we don't have enough room on our plate. And at what least the veggies about? are already tray. there. <laughs> I just bring a tray with me when I have uh, Thanksgiving. But. So, for example, I have our shortcuts, um, and this is some asparagus. You can easily just put that right in the oven to warm them up. Um, and that's a great easy side dish to have. You don't even have to do a whole lot of prep. Additionally, uh, stuffing. We all love stuffing for Thanksgiving. Ooh, um, good stuff. You can go gluten free with your Thanksgiving stuffing and doing a good graces gluten free. How amazing mix. is it that there's a plenty of like more gluten free stuff out there? Because I think of it before it was like a small little section and a small little aisle, and now we've got rows and rows and rows of it. Exactly. There's so many options, especially here at Hy-Vee in our health market. We uh, we have loads of opportunity for our friends that are gluten free 
or have celiac disease. And you can throw, we were talking about this off air, bringing it on air, uh, you can throw some things into that stuffing, which I think is really like a fun idea. So if you're even looking to spice up that, you can throw in some fun things. What would you suggest? Yeah, so mushrooms are a great place to start because that adds some umami, savory flavors to it. Um, and it adds some great vitamin D, which we definitely need during the winter months because we cold don't now. get enough sun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cold and cloudy. And then besides that, I always add um, some walnuts to give you that omega-3 punch. And also, I like cra craisins as well, and that will give you a little vitamin C. What? You're saying I'm like I've never had a craisin. Is that what you're, you're like saying it. I have a bag of craisins in my office right now. You know, I feel like that isn't always a favorite because a lot of people like more of a savory yeah. uh, stuffing, and I like that little touch of sweetness in there. I do too, though. Yeah. I, I would say I would prefer the craisin over a mushroom. I would love mushrooms just on their own, but that's that's a different story. So. Why not both? Yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> uh, finally, uh, bringing the drinks involves. This is one that. Uh, it, it, you got to try it to believe it. Right. And what do you got here? It looks like something fun, but. So I have a kombucha. However, you can make your own, let's say, mocktail at home to offer opportunity for your guests that maybe aren't drinking or um, really brings everyone together because you don't have to drink to have fun. No. And now the, what is kombucha, if anybody is not familiar with it? So kombucha has some probiotics in it. Um, it is more of a fermented drink. Um, so this will give you a little bit, it will help your gut health a little bit more. It gives you that, that probiotic. Let me tell you that my, uh, my friend Nick, who uh, produces and anchors the show, loves this stuff. So he says <laughs> it's great. It makes my tummy rumble a little bit, so yeah. maybe that's part of the deal, right? And the, what's fun about pouring it into a glass is that you release a lot of the bubbles before they get to your stomach. So if it really is rumbling your stomach, maybe that's what you need. Uh, some poured aggressively into a glass instead of those bubbles releasing in the, in the gut. Well, if you want to try something new, that's where you can look to uh, find a fun way of, uh, of trying something and uh, being healthy and everything else in between. Exactly. Uh, which is cool. I think that's the best part of this is you can work in a lot of different things for a lot of people's different needs. Exactly. And if you don't want to go with a kombucha, that's not your jam, that's okay. Go for some non-alcoholic um, beers or wines. You could also do um, your own mocktail, like I said, and adding um, some 100% fruit juices with some sparkling water, and then maybe doing a fr fun rim on it, too. Maybe y'all could bring your own kombucha. I can never even kombucha. say kombucha <laughs> together. Y'all bring your own packs, and you can trade and Share and different some. flavors. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. it's all about. All right, well, if people want to learn more about uh, the stuff you shared with us or, or just are looking for some fun ideas, how can they get a hold of you? Yeah, go to hivy.com slash health and find your dietitian team. And uh, you can even go on hivy.com and search our recipe tab for more ideas and inspiration. I don't think you walked away not getting some good inspiration today from okay. these segments. Great, great appetizers, great side dishes to think about and tap it, you know, top it off with some uh, kombucha. Absolutely. Sounds good. Thank you so much and have a good givings of whatever givings you go to. Thank you.